Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> most of you guys know me, and for those who don't know me, my name is JP. My gamer tag on Xbox is Rero. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, this is my car, <clears throat> my track car. Um, full Lexon all around. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a video explaining how I installed my Lexon. Because everybody's been asking me how I did it. Because they noticed that I have no rivets on my Lexon at all. No rivets, no rivets. I went for the, the clean look. You know, so I'm going to take time to put together this video real quick for you guys explaining how I did it. What hardware you need to go buy. And what tools you're going to need to get this job done. Um, I got a Facebook group for if you're into drag racing and online like playing Forza games. It's called One and the Break. Just how you see it here. One and the Break. No spaces. My Instagram is One and the Break. Um, after watching this video, if you think it was very informative, please give it a like, share. Got any questions? Just leave comments. I'll get back to you with, with an answer. So, <clears throat> I'll give the video to my girlfriend real quick. Come here, babe. So, we'll start off with the, the rear window, how I got it set up. The way I got it set up is I used industrial Velcro. So, because I, 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 when I thought about it, I was like, I would like to be able to have the choice to take off the Lexon and put it on, you know, for whatever reasons that I would like to take it off. So I went with the the industrial Velcro and I thought it was a good idea because it's really strong. So as you can see, I'm gonna take it off so you can see how it works and how I set it up. As you can see, it's on there tight. not going to come off when you're going down the track if your concern is that at a certain speed the, the window might fly off I don't think that's going to happen at all all right so this is the Lexon and then this is the velcro this is the soft part of the velcro and then this is the hard part of the velcro so what I did was I put the hard side of the Velcro on the window because I need the soft part for the frame of the car because it's got to be able to fit the contours of the, the frame. So what I did was I put Velcro all the way around and I folded it over on the other side as well so it could really get stuck on really good. And what I did for a little extra uh, additive on the corners of the Velcro, I put glue just because I noticed it was lifting up. So on the corners itself, I put a little bit of glue just to make sure it stays put. But you don't got to worry about all of this because it's such a broad base that it's just going to stick. You just got to worry about the corners. Put a little bit of glue, some really strong glue, so it can stay put. As for the Lexon itself, once you, once you put that Velcro on here, it's not, it's not going to come off. So just put it on. You'll be fine. You know. And then to put it back on is real simple. You saw, you saw how it took some effort for me to take off the Lexon. So now I'm going to put it back. So it's basically, I start from this side. Line it up. Line it up. Put it on. Work it in. You know what I'm saying? Work it in, work it in. And it's on, it's there. You know what I'm saying? It has the nice shape of the of the of the EG. It's shaped. It's not like flat. The window's not flat. When you put rivets, 
you'll notice that the window flattens out. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I did the the, the side windows. <clears throat> now for my door. Let me get the camera, baby. Thank you. That's all right. Hold the door open. Now for the door, I got the... See how the window is not flattened out? You know what I'm saying? It's nice curve. Some people's windows is flattened out. They got the rivets going around. <clears throat> what I did was... All right, cool. Here you go. I put the window, the Lexon, inside the track where the original window will sit. And I fed it all the way up, all the way up to the original track, and I stuffed it up in there. All the way, it's in there, it's in place. In the track, right? That's the first step. Second step is, you would need to find, let me see, let me use this for example. It's not long enough, but I'll use this for example. A piece of wood, so that you could put the wood here, and it has to be long enough that it sits... It pushes up on the bottom of the Lexon here and long enough that it pushes the Lexon firmly that gives it its natural curve of the window, right? And it holds it in place. Once that's holding in place and it's in the in the grooves all the way around, then you go ahead and you put the the self-tapping screws. I got about three or four of them under here. So that's that. If you do that correctly. You'll have a clean looking window with its natural curve. You know? Let's see the other side real quick for you guys. Hey? Both sides are set up that way. For the front windshield, I don't know man, this is this one is pretty simple, man. Just take off the windshield. I left the old silicone rubber all the way around I didn't try to clean that up I, I thought it was a good idea to leave that in place so that way when you sit the Lex on it actually acts like a seal and, it, and it, the Lex on is like hugging that rubber instead of it being sitting on metal I'd rather it sit on the rubber the, old, the silicone I cut into the silicone a little bit over here just so I could sit the rod on the metal base and tap weld it here and the same cut a little notch in the silicone rubber right here so that way I could lay down my rod and uh, spot welder there and spot welder in the bottom and then the rod you got to make sure you give it a nice little curvature nice little bend not too much not too crazy just enough so that when you put the windshield on you got the curve for the windshield so that the windshield is not sitting flat and looking all retarded so that's that let me show you the inside of the of this side window again real quick i forgot to show you this so this is how it looks on the inside you see the velcro the soft velcro is on the outside and is folded over into the inside to give it a little added strength. And that's that. Now, for the rear window, all I did was I got a video of how I did this. But I'm going to explain it a little bit here and then I'll, I'll post the video up with this. I'll edit it and put it in. I took this Lexon and I placed it on top of the original rear window and I marked where I needed to cut for the brackets you got to cut two circles on each side so you could mount the brackets with the the hardware the rubber pieces so it could fit nice and that's what I did so basically this Lexon is only being held by those two brackets and a screw on each side of the window not sure I'm probably gonna do something a little bit more more um, secure than these two screws but for now that's how I got it set up and as for the over here I left it open I'm not trying to push down or put put something here to hold it in because you know when you're racing you need to let the air come out from inside and have a way out you know what I'm saying so I just left that like that but if you guys got any suggestions just let me know um I got a, a partial uh, sponsorship with uh, a good friend of mine. She uh, 
she was the one that did the, the Lexon for me, you know, she gave me the front Lexon windshield for free, you know, but the rest I bought off of her, and this is her Instagram and Facebook, it's called YNS Lexon, please check them out, they got all the Lexon already pre-cut, all you gotta do is smack it on your car, that's about it, and this is my girlfriend's um, Instagram is called the one in, one cut vinyl hashtag one cut vinyl. You see that? We do um decals, we do banners, everything. we do everything, right, boo boo? Yes. <laughs> so we got to see. This is the work. Fuck the haters. One the break. Our FTH logo. JP Bill for the haters. Check us out. You know, we do everything. You send us an image and we'll duplicate it. Or if you want some custom shit, we'll do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? We do it all. This is original decals that I, that I did right here. It's official tissue. JP built. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need done, we could do it. And we'll get it done for you. Good price. So check us out. All right, and as for tools or equipment that you're going to need, this is the Velcro, industrial Velcro. I bought this in Home Depot. Holds up to 10 pounds. Those side windows are nowhere near 10 pounds, so you got nothing to worry about, especially when you got Velcro going all the way around its seams. So, you know.